morning, everyone. The renowned filmmaker Steven Spielberg once said, and I quote, the delicate balance of mentoring someone is not creating them in your own image, but giving them an opportunity to create themselves. Spielberg's words matches Toastmasters' objective on mentoring too. Focus on multiple longer term goals. Like Sandra, my mentor here, has asked me to be prepared with speeches ahead of time so that I am in complete control of them when I have to deliver one. This speaks volumes about her personal involvement and support in my goals as a mentee. To be honest, each one of y'all have contributed to my growth so far. Many of y'all have taken a special effort to review my work, give me feedback, ask about my plans going ahead, and shown me the way forward. All this without letting me lose my essence. That makes all of y'all my mentors in a way, and I am very thankful for this experience. With this, the Thanksgiving part of my spiel ends. Today, I will share with y'all my previous experiences as protege, which uh, weren't exactly the way I had expected them to be. However, I did learn a thing or two. My first experience with a mentor was absurd. This person was assigned to my mentor when I was pursuing my post-graduation back in India. To begin with, he was nowhere to be found for the first three months of the academic year. I used to go around asking about him every day and to everyone. I was almost mistaken for being love lone. <laughs> Finally, one day, Mr. Mentor graced the college campus and said, Mentor. Who said? <laughs> I don't know what is to be done. I don't think I'm the right person. Uh, please ask someone else. <laughs> With this, he disappeared, never to resurface again. The lesson I learned, this is exactly the kind of mentor no one wants. <laughs> I mean, come on, nobody would have asked you for the formula of a Russian nuclear bomb. He simply needed to say, let me know if you need anything. The point here is to not let someone feel stranded, especially a junior. That's it. The next instance is when a colleague had confused mentoring for felicitation and the phrase, under my wings. First things first, when you think you can mentor someone, guide someone, you don't have to go after his or her life. Guidance can be given from the sidelines also. So this gentleman one day out of nowhere announced in the middle of the office that he is my mentor. I didn't know why because we were not from the same team or the department. Hence, I chose to ignore him. Later, on multiple occasions, he would be heard saying, I want to take you under my wings, but you will never come under my wings. <laughs> <laughs> lesson. <laughs> the lesson I learned, mentoring is no joke. Mentors are looked up to. Sentences like the one I just said makes you look less like a mentor, more like a creep. <laughs> Importantly, mentor, mentoring and guidance can be given if you have the right intention. The third instance is when I finally thought I had found the right mentor. But, but, but. My hopes were dashed soon enough. I was a rookie journalist that time. And this gentleman was guiding me very well through my assignments. He was putting out challenges for me to scale up. He was giving me duties I had not performed before that, so on and so forth. However, when it came to giving feedbacks, he would avoid it or would be at a loss while doing so. Simply put, he didn't know how to explain himself. Once, he told me, you are hanging from a cliff. Oh, okay, uh, in, in, in which area, sir? You are hanging from a cliff. Isn't it clear enough? Okay. 
This other time, he told me, you are a summation of my younger days. <laughs> Means good or bad? <laughs> I was a fool then. Oh, okay. <laughs> what went wrong? Being a fool is good, mind you. Okay. <laughs> then, once he told me, you need to move to the next level. Like, sure, uh, where am I lacking? Nowhere, just move to the next level. <laughs> Lesson. Feedback is very important in a mentor-mentee relationship. And so is being articulate. Otherwise, your protege will not be able to move to the next level. To sum it up, I'm not sure if these three men were able to teach me what they were looking out to teach. But I still learned a very significant lesson from them. That is, what not to do as a mentor. Reiterating Spielberg, I'm not sure if these three men were able to implant their teachings in me. However, they let me learn a let me learn very simple basics of mentoring. Just the way Toastmaster does. It allows us to learn from our fellow members, their talents, and a plethora of experiences. Thank you.